Arawa groups under the auspices of the concerned Northern Forum, CNF, and other civil society groups in northern Nigeria have urged the federal government to probe the activities of the Nigerian National Petroleum Company, NNPC Limited, following revelations made by the Chief of Naval Staff, Vice Admiral Aural Gambo, and the Comptroller General of Nigeria Customs Service, Colonel Hamid Ali, on the high level of oil theft in the country. Plus TV News correspondent Habila Darufai in Kaduna filed in this report. Right to government effort at ensuring the security of the country's crude oil. A high rate of oil theft in the Nandu Delta region has continued to pose an economic threat to the country. Both the NMPC Limited and the Federal Ministry of Petroleum Resources estimated that between 200,000 to 400,000 barrels of crude have been stolen and that by implication, if 400,000 barrels are stolen per day, which will be equivalent to 63.2 million liters. Over 500 trucks with 70,000 liters carrying capacity are expected to lift the products daily out of Nigeria, a small good content. Speaking at a press conference in Arua, Aus Kaduna, the leader of the forum, Ibrahim Batude, pointed out that 4 billion naira is being paid monthly for pipeline surveillance contract awarded to Premu Polo. LNPC Limited management should not even try to make full of Nigerians by saying both Navy and Nigerian custom are envy of them and trying to sabotage their hard work. We have realized the oil theft is not, is not done only on the pipeline, but also we suspected that maybe even in the office. He expressed concerns that the country, most importantly the northern region, is profusely bleeding with human blood as a result of the activities of Boko Haram and wondered why the government pays more attention to crude oil theft than the lives and properties of the people that voted them into power. We have no choice than to answer the call by some of our northern governors to defend ourselves against the banditry and kidnapping, vitivailing our reason. And this will result to the use of weapons, which I'm sure will later result in another big challenge to Nigeria as a nation because when so many arms enters into the hand of citizens, so the result will be devastating in future. The group declared a state of emergency in the NNPC Limited seeking the appointment of military administrators to watch over the affairs of the company pending the conclusion of investigations. While calling on President Muhammad Buhari to critically look into the position of both the Nigeria Customs Service and the Nigerian Navy over the outrageous claims of theft in the oil and gas sector by the NNPC. He said a heavy sanction should be imposed on the top management of the company. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.